today's video, we'll go over a technician workflow using the CR Go mobile application. This training will cover everything from checking in for an appointment, to completing your data collection session, to checking out and getting the signature on the CR Go application. Then we'll cover timesheets and session notes in the Central Reach browser. To start on CR Go, you will log in with your PIN code to the application. You will land on the schedule screen of your application. Tap the hamburger icon in the top left and you can navigate to your session folder where you can see all your clients' data sheets. Or you can tap the hamburger icon and navigate back to your schedule. Today, you'll see an appointment at 12 o'clock for BB Bonds. It's an ABA therapy appointment. To start, tap Start Work on the appointment. Once you press Start Work, this checks you in. This time stamps what time you started your appointment at the client's home or clinic or at the school. Once you start work, you will tap the details button to see the details. You'll see any information that is on your schedule, such as location, the name of the appointment, the description of the appointment, the date, the start time, and the end time. It also lists helpful information, such as phone numbers and additional participants and labels if you have them. You can also add labels here. Users are going to want to tap the Start Session button once you are ready to start your session. This lists all the sessions, aka data sheets, that are on file for the individual. Tap the appropriate data sheet to view the data sheet. You can restart the time of your session by pressing Restart at the top of the screen. This starts the timer of the session and also, if you have them set up, will start rate timers or interval timers as well. You can navigate by scrolling up and down to see what is on your session. You can always tap to see any of your resource screens. Please note that in the top right corner, you do have a video camera, which enables you to take a video clip. You can share that video with individuals and you can title it and it will sync back to the files module within Central Reach. Scroll again and tap to get to the data collection mode. The data collection mode lists all targets and stimuli in the naturalistic view. You'll see the current target highlighted in blue. You'll see the type of data, the phase of said data, and any prompts that may be on this target. When you tap the responses, you'll see the trials increase. You can go back and tap again to uncheck a prompt. You can change the response and keep going. You can tap on the rating scale and scroll down. Open up the eyeball view with any program as well to take data in the expanded mode. You can always shut the eyeball view and go back if you wish to. Some users like to use the view for percent correct and take data throughout in this view like this. Notice the eyeball view shows the gold percentage bar on your program. This is a 43%. Let's shut that. You can scroll to view more targets and you can also tap to access the pinned view. There, you can start or stop the duration timer. You can graph targets right from this pinned view. You can scroll through all the pinned behaviors. And additionally, you can swipe up to see all the pinned behavior at one time. Shut the pinned view simply by tapping again and swiping it away. If you need more information on any targets, simply tap the arrow on top and see the description, or depending on the program, see the instructional notes. Whatever is listed on your central reach learning tree in the description box or in your instructional notes will pull to the instructions tab in CR Go. Tap details or swipe to see the graph and view scores. 
you can see the phase and detailed information below the graph. To navigate, you can tap the headers or swipe left or right like this. Use the comment tab to comment on any target. Additionally, you can graph with a button in the top right. You will get an error if there's no data on a target you're attempting to graph. If you go back and add data, you can now graph either in the detail view or graph by swiping left to graph. Similarly, swipe right and get to the comments tab. So again, swipe right to get comments, swipe left to graph. If you wanna exit out of data collection, tap the hamburger icon to go back to the main screen. Here, you'll find the tree view, which shows targets organized by short-term and long-term goals. You can tap to toggle back to the index view. Look in the right top corner to see the number eight. Those are new comments. Tap it to see a list of all those comments. Also on the screen, you can press graph all to graph all your data. Remember to graph everything before you end your session by pressing graph all again. Then you can complete your session. Please confirm that data collection is complete and is graphed prior to ending your session. Once you end your session, press the X in the top left to go back to the appointment. Then tap to finalize the appointment. The app will track how long you are in the appointment. Tap the arrow to the right to get to the signature tab. Here you can have family members sign. You can also press add notes to add scheduled notes for your appointment. Again, you can go back to the signature to have a family member sign when completed. When you press complete, that will finalize your appointment in the CR Go app. Notice that your appointment is now listed as finalized. The next step in the workflow takes you out of the CR Go app and onto the Central Reach platform on members.centralreach.com. Log in, locate your schedule under the schedule module, and click on the appointment you finalized. This will take you to the timesheet. Here you will see on your timesheet that the CR Go session time was tracked, your CR Go location was tracked, and a line states that a client signature was collected. The next step is to click New Form, scroll down, and click to write the session note narrative. Complete any additional steps needed to finish up your session note and select the data that you took earlier in the day. Then sign the timesheet and save the timesheet to complete the timesheet conversion process. This concludes the technician workflow for collecting data in the CR Go application and converting the timesheet in the central reach system.